Yeah, because I, uh... Hey, you, uh, you want me to hold the little baby? How you look? Oh, you <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Whatever. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, she's just... Yeah, she was sleeping. Oh, she's like, oh, it's okay. That's Thank such you, a man. fun age. It's so yeah. just right. I know. I know. <laughs> These books, are you asking uh, five for the set? Yeah. Okay, I'll take those. Okay. Oh, great, thank you. I'm getting your backpack too. Oh, sorry. Oh, no problem. That one in there? Okay, yeah, so you. five and ten dollars. Thank you. Okay. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. How much is this? Full of drama today. I'm sorry, what? How much is this? Bam! This massager. Um, a dollar. Sure. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. What's up, John? Hey, what up, dude? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. Good to meet you, dude. Good to meet you. Did you already hit the sale? Yeah, this is all I got. Are you Just looking for like the, all the action figures in Joe's? She said the owner took them off. Oh, and they had them in the ad? Yeah, they took a lot of stuff out of the ad. It's like people are like mad and leaving. Oh geez, that sucks. Let's see, you got some Pogs, that's classic. That was, yeah, that was on my first sale. They're like, I haven't found like an actual Pog brand. Yeah. Like, one's like, they're like the, kind of like bootleg. Yeah, all the old slammers. Man, those are all the rage when we were kids. I figured I wanna, I wanna try to play it. I see it, it looks fun. Yeah. So, well, but, good luck to you, man. Yeah, it was nice good meeting, meeting you. you. Yeah, see you, Patrick. Um, I was wondering how much you wanted for the magazines. I didn't yeah, see a price. I think they could be two dollars a piece, but normally she has a thing. It could be, you know, if you're getting that many, she might. I definitely can't do anywhere near two dollars a piece. Um, I was thinking like five bucks for the stack. Let's go out. Okay. <laughs> we go for a stack of magazines. <sighs> five bucks for all of it. So. You want a box or a bag? No, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Morning. Morning. How much is your Coke crate? How much did you say Coke crate was? 20? 
20 bucks? With the bottles. With the bottles. Okay. Up your poster. Oh, geez. I didn't even know there was three of them. That's Thank cool. you. Yeah. How much are your baseballs? Just two dollars a piece. They're two game bucks. balls that you can use in like an actual like little league game. Yeah. So, just two bucks a piece. Big roof league. What did you do? Ten bucks for all of them? Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll do that. What are you asking for your PS3? uh looking for 20. Um, okay and it's one of the ones i can play all the ps2 games that's why we have them all right there gotcha is it just 20 for everything or uh 20 and then honestly if you bought them all i mean probably could do i'd say 35 for all the games in that okay did the door break on this uh, yeah, just a little top, but you gotcha. can still use the things inside. Okay. We actually fired that up the other day. Oh, nice. Do you have any of the controllers for it? Uh, no, we don't anymore. Got a bunch of old programs and stuff. Yeah. Those I would have to ask my dad with how much they are. Okay, sure. Uh, just because they're his. And... Oh, that's neat. Yeah, ask him how much that is. I'm curious. Okay. That is 20 bucks, actually. When's that from? I have it's like early 70s i think that's cool i know would you go 15 on it i know i'm nervous just for today i'm pretty stuck on the 20 sorry usually i'm pretty flexible with most of the stuff <laughs> y'all got any records yeah i'll take it or instruments no. uh we do not okay we're not talented like that <laughs> there you go. Thank, thank you thank you morning how much is your trash can it is a trash can yes how much is it ryan how much five sure i'll do that here you go for your can okay thank you yep good luck with your sale Thanks. Morning. If you have any questions, the, the man with those that equipment, we, I can grab him for you. Okay. Yeah, the experts inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious if he's got the charger for the camera. Oh. Hmm. Is that a GoPro? Just no, a... this is a Canon <laughs> camera. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What would you need for it? Hmm. Um, two dollars on it. Although I'd hate to give yeah. it to you if we don't have that. Yeah, I'll give you two bucks for it. I can buy a charger okay. for the camera. Thank you. All right, thanks. Good luck with your sale. There was a waterproof GoPro. Let's plug it in. Come on. Let's plug it in. Yeah, I'm gonna get your racket. Oh, thank you. Are these samples? They are. Yeah, sure. And I'm an artist, so I thought I'd do something fun and artsy with it. Yeah. But I haven't yet, so. Is that what these are too, as samples? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll take them if you're not gonna yeah. do anything with them. I appreciate it. Thank you. And then that is all quartz, like they're bigger, like maybe yeah. this size. Yeah, so. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck with your well, sale. Thank you. I appreciate your... Morning. Morning. 
got a bunch of bobbleheads. I got a total of 69 of them. I got a whole other box. Holy back. cow. I like to sell them as a set. Gotcha, okay. Um, 200 bucks. Just reading through them. They're, it's, they're from 2001 up to 2015. 2001 is when they started giving them away. Is this uh, box one? Yeah, this is box one. I'll peek through here. Which gapper do you have? Do you know? It's the only gapper. Would you get 150 for all of them? Two two hundreds, pretty reasonable, I think. You split it with me at 175. I'll get 175. I appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. No problem. All right, I'm back at the shop and I'm doing something a little bit different with this video. I'm taking footage from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday sales because, to be honest, I just did not find that much stuff on any one given day. So I'm lumping it all together. This is stuff that I found over the course of the last three days. I got this uh, portable hand massager for a dollar. These are going for about 20 to 25 bucks. Anytime I find these home medics, if they're cheap enough, I pick them up. Um, one sale I went to, I bought two things. Neither was a good purchase. I got these Babe Ruth uh, Little League baseballs, new in the plastic from Rawlings. I, think I paid $10 and I got seven of them. That's about what they're going for on eBay. So I don't think that was a great buy. I'm just going to try to make my money back. Um, this thing right here, I should have looked it up. I, I left my phone in the car. I was just kind of winging it at the sale. Um, this is a vintage Jungle Land uh, popcorn holder. I thought this was uh, Bengals because it's got a Bengal tiger on it. Everything else he had was like sports related. Uh, but this is actually a zoo. And they're going for like 15 bucks on eBay. I paid 20 So two bad buys right there. Just going to try to make back whatever I can. This was a pretty good buy, though. This was a big lot of books from 1925. It's Pocket University, and they're actually in so-so condition. I think I only paid a few dollars for these. I want to say it was like $2 or $3 for all of them. So that was a good buy. Those are going for about $25, $30. Bucks. Got this vintage Cincinnati Bearcats trash can. Let's see if there's a year on this thing. I think this is roughly like 80s or 90s. Yeah, I don't see a year, but I've sold some uh, trash cans like this before. Uh, depending on the university, I, I got one for Miami University of Ohio that I sold for like $250. This one, I don't expect to get that much for it. Maybe 30 or 40 bucks, but it is cool. Definitely vintage. Couldn't find any uh, similar comps, but keep an eye out for these old metal trash cans. Got this little Canon video camera, FS300. Only paid $2 for because they didn't have the uh, battery charger. So I'm going to find a battery charger online, and that thing's going for like 50 bucks. Got this Wilson... Hyper, Hyper Pro Staff 6.5 Racket for $5 with the uh, case. This thing is very, very clean. Um, a good way to tell how much use a tennis racket got is to check this top part because when you're playing tennis and there's a low shot that comes, your racket is going to graze that uh, tennis court. And a lot of times that section right there on top gets really worn down and just beat up. Uh, but this one is really clean, so I don't think it got much use. Paid five dollars for it, and it's going around forty to forty-five bucks. At that same sale, I got some uh, some swatches, like samples from uh, whatever this metal company is. Uh, really cool stuff, kind of rare. Not a ton of people looking after it, but I did see one sold. There was no active, and only one completed listing. They got forty dollars for like one of these swatches, so. I don't know. I'll, I'll try it and see what happens. I got some other uh, swatches at that sale, too. Got this Boy Scouts of America backpack. This thing is cool because it has a metal frame. So definitely vintage. Not a lot of them out there. I paid five bucks. Now, similar ones go in between like 30 and 40. I got a bunch of magazines at one sale. This was interesting because when I asked uh, one of the people working how much they were, they're like $2 each. And I was like, this was no way. I mean, a lot of these are just in really rough shape. They're magazines, you know, like $2 each is just crazy. So she's like, well, go ask uh, the lady checking people out. Because it seemed like she was just kind of giving prices on the fly for anything that wasn't priced. So I got the whole stack for 5 bucks. Um, there's a lot of southern outdoors, a lot of fishing. Uh, believe it or not, some of the vintage fishing magazines do okay. And I'm definitely going to make some uh, group lots of these. 
I cannot ship them media mail. You cannot ship magazines media mail because they have advertisements in them. But still, if you guys remember the Life magazines that I picked up maybe a month ago, something like that, I did great with those. I paid 20 bucks for everything and I ended up selling them off for like $140 plus shipping. So there's money to be made on magazines depending on what it is. Definitely try to get uh, similar titles so that you can do like, you know, 10 of all one magazine and uh, make sure you're checking your sell-through rates. So if you're searching, you know, Southern Outdoors magazine lot, look at the active listings and then look at the sold listings. So if the sold listings are only like 10% of what's active, it's probably not worth your time. But once you're getting like 50% or more of a sell-through rate, you know, like if there's 100 active lots of these, but then there's 50 that actually sold, then it might be worth your time. So just... Uh, yeah, a little bit of word of the wise. Magazines are a pain. They're not great. They're not going to make you rich. But if you get them cheap, they can sell. All right, here's the other uh, sample, like, swatch thing I got. This is Wilson Art Quartz. Let's open these up. Yeah, this is really, really cool. These were probably for someone that wanted to, uh, that was a salesperson for uh, selling tabletops, counters, things like that. If you want to do quartz, uh, maybe you didn't want to pay up for marble. So this is really, really neat. I, again... The market for this stuff is not huge, but I've sold swatches before. I've sold uh, paint swatches. I've sold carpet swatches. There is a market out there for this stuff. You know, a lot of times uh, salespeople that are selling this stuff and maybe they can't get the swatches from the company, but they actually have the product and they can sell it. They want to buy this so they can show their customers. So she gave it to me. It was totally free. So I'll list it and see what I can do with it. It has a lot of weight to it. Unfortunately, this thing probably weighs 25, 30 pounds. Uh, but since it's a smaller box, shouldn't cost a ton to ship. I have no idea what I'll get for this, but I will definitely list it and hopefully find a buyer. Um, last thing, I was having a hard time finding stuff on Saturday, and I got really lucky. I got I went to the sale, and there was just one cardboard box on a table with like a Cincinnati Reds skateboard. Turns out he was using the skateboard uh, as advertising to just catch people's eye, and it worked with me because I saw Cincinnati Reds. I was like, all right, let's go see what this is. He had two boxes of bobbleheads. Um, I think he said there was a total of 69 of them. And I think they range from 2001 to 2015. And he had like all of them. So we went back and forth on price a little bit. He originally wanted 200. I offered 150. We settled on 175. Now the thing with this is a lot of these are probably worth like $2, maybe $3. Like this Aaron Harang. Great picture, uh, but you know. Not a lot of people are clamoring for Aaron Horang bobbleheads these days, so that's probably not going to go on eBay. What I'll probably do is pull out the ones that I know are going to sell for a little bit. Like I think I just recently sold this Vado for 15 or 20. I know I just recently sold a Sabo for 15 or 20. I'll uh, put the ones on eBay that I think are worth my time, and then I'll just group a lot the rest and probably just sell them locally. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.